In this section, we are beginning to talk about factoring by factoring out the greatest common factor. The G is for greatest. We always want to take out the biggest possible factor. Remember, the whole point of factoring is taking an expression and writing it as the product of two things. A particular problem like this, we could say that we are undistributing. I know that's not really a word, but it gives you an idea of what we're doing. So here we go. I look at the coefficients first, and 28, 21, and 35 all have a common factor of 7. There are no variables in common. The 35 does not have an x, so I do not need to factor out any x's. And now what I do is I go through and ask myself, what here times 7 would give me 28x squared? And the answer is 4x squared. What second term times 7 would give me 21x? And that would be 3x. And what last term times 7 gives me negative 35? And the answer would be negative 5. You can always, always, always check factoring by remultiplying. And it's a very quick process and a very quick way to see if you got the right answer.